All right. Um, we have a. Um, a, a Prager U video that we're gonna try to watch. It's hard. The most famous political scandal in American history is, of course, Watergate. In Not anymore. This was, well, to be fair, though, to Prager U, this was made, um, nope, this was made on the May 24th, 2021. So this was after January 6th. So I don't, don't agree with that at all. So Watergate is not the most famous political scandal. It's definitely January 6th. I don't know if you can call that a scandal. It's a little more than a scandal, but um, no. It's so famous that even now, 50 years after it happened, almost every scandal of any kind comes with an obligatory gate after it. If you ask most people to explain what Watergate was all about, they draw a blank. If they no. No. know a bit of history, or perhaps they lived through it, they might say something like this. It was about a bungled break-in that brought down a president. That's true. But the break-in is the least significant part of the story. No, it's not. That's the whole, that's, that's the most significant part of the story. I can't, I, that's, that is the, let me be clear again. I, I don't know how they can even, I, I, I don't know how they can think that. The break-in is the most significant part. They obviously thought they needed to establish this in the beginning of the video for whoever, whatever sad souls are going to watch this and think, oh, wow, that made a lot of sense. It's a PragerU video. This this is 100% the most false claim ever. The break, the break-in was the least significant part. No, that's the, in, that's the entire fucking scandal is the goddamn break-in. I... That's that's the fucking scandal right there. Watergate was If there was no break in Watergate wouldn't have existed. There would be no Watergate if there was no break in to the DNC. So I don't see how he says uh it's it that's the least it's the least significant part. No. It's that is the only fucking part that matters about this. First and foremost, a political war between the president, Richard Nixon, and the media which in those pre-cable days meant ABC, CBS, NBC, The New York Times. Oh my fucking God. They're, they're literally saying that water, that Watergate is a, I, the president versus the media. What? His fucking, Nixon's fucking cronies did an amazing job at covering up the break in afterward. His uh, White House communications guy came out and said, uh, you think the president's going to respond to some some uh, fucking faux break in some some fucking geeks tried to break into this uh, the DNC. You think he's going to respond to that when she did it himself? It was great PR. He had a great PR team. This is the biggest fucking lie ever told. I know all of PragerU is bad, but this is just uh, no. Who the fuck thinks this? Who? And the Washington Post. The media's aim, in the words of British historian Paul Johnson, was to use publicity to reverse the electoral verdict of 1972. Yeah, that's that's what Watergate was. Yeah, no, 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 no. Uh, Nixon didn't get people that used to work for the CIA um, in bringing down uh, Fidel Castro. He uh, he didn't use those people to break into the DNC to steal uh, uh, classified documents and all of this. Uh, this was a uh, this was all a, a stunt to re reverse the electoral verdict of 1972. Okay, all right, Prager, you. Why? What did the media have against Nixon? That's a complex question, but we can essentially boil it down to three things. One, he was despised by the East Coast liberal elite, of which the Washington- Oh my fucking God. I don't, I really don't know if I can keep watching this. There's just so much- He was despised by the East Coast liberal elite. I don't think, I don't know if Prager U even knows what would be considered the East Coast liberal elite. Whatever that uh, could could mean to them. I don't think that they know what that means. Press Corps was a key component. Two, 
He was a staunch anti-communist. The media considered the communist threat to be overblown. That is not fucking true at all. What the fuck is he talking about? This Prager U needs to read up on their goddamn history because that is wrong. The the communist thing, the the Red Scare and all that, that was not none of the media thought that that was overblown. That is, uh, again, blatantly false. You could go Google this right now if you have your phone or your computer. Literally, go Google it right now. That is not true. That is so not true. They thought that the... Uh, no, that, that's just not true. That's not true at all. The media was all over that shit. Overblown. The media were the people that were literally carrying this to everybody. They're the reason everyone knew about this shit. It was the media. The Red Scare exists because of the media. Oh my God. Three, he refused to abandon South Vietnam. Nixon insisted on a peace with honor. The media was entirely anti-war. Even though Nixon spent most of his adult life in New York and Washington, he never fit in. Born in a small town in California, there were no Ivy League degrees on his resume. To make matters worse, while not being a part of McCarthyism, he made his reputation aggressively exposing Alger Hiss. A okay, they are, so these people are literally running on the platform of this, with this video of Watergate was a scandal somehow designed against Richard Nixon when he's the one who um, it orchestrated all of it to bring him down because the, um, the people on the other side of the political spectrum do not didn't like his policies. That's what they're saying here. That's what they're Prager you over here trying to literally rewrite history and they're not doing a good Communist job of in it. the US State Department in the late 1940s. After serving as vice president under Dwight Eisenhower for eight years, he ran against and nearly defeated John F. Kennedy, the paragon of East Coast elitism in 1960. Then... The... Oh, God. I, it's so hard to watch this. Why? Why? Everything they say is just not right. It's all fucked. Eight years later, and much to the media's dismay, Nixon mounted an improbable political comeback to win that year's presidential election. Are they gonna talk about? Um, he would have gotten impeached. Nixon would have gotten impeached if he didn't resign. Everyone knows this. They were gonna impeach him. This wasn't to bring down a president or anything like that. Nixon, being a little pussy, the little pussy that he is, sent these fucking cronies in to fuck up the DNC, to steal their shit, to find out what was gonna happen in the uh in the coming elections in the next uh next weeks and months this is what he did he got he got former cia guys to go in and do this and then as if rubbing the media's nose in it he won again in a 49 state landslide in 1972. something had to be done ironically nixon's own people provided the opportunity the media had been waiting for on june 17 1972 Five men associated with the Nixon re-election campaign broke into the offices of the Democratic National Committee headquarters in the Watergate office building in Washington, D.C. Presumably, they intended to gather information about the Democrats' campaign strategy. Whatever their purpose, it was a painfully dumb plan that turned catastrophic when the burglars were caught in the act and arrested by D.C. police. Nixon. He's making it sound like it's a bad thing that they got caught. Like they are, oh, like it's okay that they went in and broke into the DNC. They ended up getting caught, and that wasn't good. I'm like, dude, bro, what the fuck are you talking about? They wound up getting caught. And found out about it, like everyone else, in the morning papers. <laughs> Initially, he didn't think it was a big deal. I had been in politics too long, he later wrote, and had seen everything from dirty tricks to vote fraud. I could not muster much moral outrage over a political bugging. Today, most would conclude that if he had simply acknowledged his campaign's responsibility, owned it, as we say, fired those responsible and apologized, the whole sorry mess would have been rendered the minor incident it was. No, it's not a minor incident. What the fuck? What the fuck? But as his I get PragerU ads on my YouTube. 
when I watch it away from my PC. This is the shit people get ads for. They put this shit on everyone's TV. This is so, so wrong. Evan Thomas. If he had just acknowledged it, it, it all would have went away. It all would have been fine. It's noted, Nixon wasn't paying attention. And when he was confronted with the problems below deck, he didn't really engage. By the time he did, it was too late. So the scandal grew beyond his control. Three men made sure of that. A publicity-seeking judge, a revenge-seeking FBI official, and oh. a partisan special prosecutor. Okay, I'm not gonna... Okay, I'm, I'm stopping it there. I'm not watching the rest of the video. There's only about two minutes left. If you want, I'm at the three minute and 31 mark. You can go and finish the video yourself. I just... I cannot take any more of this. Just... It, it's so bad. It's, it's like... I can go and Google this shit in five seconds and find out that everything in this video is not right. A publicity-seeking judge, a revenge-seeking FBI official, a partisan special prosecutor. Bro, this, up until Donald Trump, Watergate was the uh, most widely known and the, the, one of the worst political scandals ever. I mean, Nixon literally was doing shit that fucking... Uh, people in other countries do to fuck up their opponents. And I mean other countries like Russia. He was literally trying to pull some crazy, crazy, crazy fucking shit breaking into the DNC. And then these people, these Prager U people are trying to sit here and say that it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't a big deal. If he had never gotten caught, it wouldn't have been a big deal at all. If he had never gotten caught, we wouldn't even be talking about this. We wouldn't be. Um, so, I'm not going to watch the rest of it. I can't. Um, but I wanted to just uh, make a quick little video talking about this. Um, you see a PragerU ad on your YouTube. Um, either skip it or um, sit there and... Um, Either laugh or uh, uh, scratch your head at how fucking stupid these people are and how uh, and how much they're lying because this is just these are all just blatant lies. It's just all blatant fucking lies.